Hey, I have a mess in the sink. So I'm ter I, I just grow our um, zucchini seeds and like a leftover raspberry container or blueberries. But this is them. <laughs> and I've been pulling them apart to replant them into their next stage. And then after this, um, I mean, most likely I'll be putting them into a bigger container before the garden. But this is the zucchini so far. Some secret busyness I've been doing. So this morning, we split the basil. These three probably should be split as well, but those are all split. Basil planted and sprouting up. Um, I don't even remember what lettuce we planted. I don't remember if it was romaine or what. I don't remember, but we should be planting some more greeny, greeny stuff for the uh, bearded dragon. This is zucchini. I still have to plant all those into their individual containers. But I did eggplant black beauties, um, bell peppers, there's our Cali California wonders, red Russian cow, or purple cow, red, whatever, jubilee tomato, and yellow sweet onion. This is the first year we'll be doing onion. And with the Survival Seed 2024 challenge, um, we're gonna be using this part of the tray to get some of those seed starts. And then I'm gonna have to find another place to grow because we're running out of room after that. Um, although I will have some room here um, because these will be planted up and the four pack will go, well, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight, yep. So those will be, let's see, one, two, yeah, so that'll pretty much take up the rest of the front. Might have a little space through here for two, two cups, but so, Six, 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 eighteen. Yeah, three. Yeah, so that's gonna be about it for this tank. So here's the dirt I brought into the laundry room. Actually, I mean, when you're planting in the house, and if you don't have an outdoor space like get ready, and you want to get your stuff started, just make do with how you're doing. This here is an old little desk. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's a painting I did months ago. So I got the seeds laid out and um, these I've noticed need to be started like four to six weeks before um, the frost. So this one's six to eight weeks ahead of time. These ones can be started indoors. And then there's some others that can be planted six to eight weeks before the frost or plant outdoors in fall or spring for spring growth. So you can plant them in the spring. No, in the fall for spring growth. So some of these I may not be doing this year. I don't, I don't know yet. The lavender I think needs to go into the fridge and paper towel in a bag um for yeah three to four weeks and then barely covering it with soil and keep them moist um so i would need to put these in the fridge in a wet paper towel now for three to four weeks so that's like a month and then you barely cover them with soil and then you just keep them moist and then transport or transplant outdoors for four to six weeks after plants emerge space 18 inches apart so that that looks like a hard one and a fun one to do i have actually never grown it from seed ours out back in the flower herb garden actually um i've saved seed from that last year and it's also spread because i let the seed fall so i think i'm gonna go with some of these um, and thyme and oregano um, yeah so 
I'm gonna do oregano for the challenge. I'm gonna do white sage, sage, oregano, and lemon balm, I think. I don't I don't know. I haven't decided. This has really really gotten hard in my mind. <laughs> and then these are the seeds that we got from um, the vineyard chicks from the vineyard family. These are my six trays that I have for those. And then the space that I showed you in the tank um, with the UV um, growing lights, um, that's where those uh, seeds from the vineyard chicks are gonna be started this year. For any of you who have never seen the dusty, <laughs> forever, any of you who've never seen dust before, there you go, um, Lake's got dust. So this is the light that we use for growing. It does have a fan on it because this light throws out, well, it packs out a punch. Um, this is actually originally used for growing saltwater corals. So it's more than enough, more than enough to start indoor plants to go outside in the garden. seems to be a problem <laughs> and I know I've got more dirt here than before because I took stuff out and then I put it back in and I was playing in the dirt the other night because well we did a thing um and it wasn't planned it was only planned for like about 24 hours and then like the next day we went out and did it so I'll show you that in a minute um I've had this growing since last winter or no over the spring this so it's about a year old it was this tiny, tiny little thing. Yeah, so it was around this time last year, maybe around April, I don't know. But anyway, all this is moss. But I got thinking, being that moss is pretty mm, hardy, pretty good, I could probably lay some little pots in here because this is one of our south windows and get some more um, um, herbs going in here that are removable. So I plant our planter boxes around the house over the winter, and then you can just transplant things back into other pots and put them outside or leave them in, or you can just, you know, remove everything and put your outdoor stuff back in your planters. But your planter pots that are normally outdoors, bring them in and make use of them. Over the winter, I had a bunch in here, but I since took it all out for, so guess what? It's not completely up yet. But last Friday night, so a week ago today, I, Bigfoot decided that we'll just drain this, this 150. It's 150, six feet long, 150 gallon tank because we only had one fish left in it and he's a jerk face. So I did put him in with the other fish because there's so many fish in there. He's not gonna have much chance to be a jerk face in there, but there was no sense of running 150 gallons of water with an FX6 um, canister filter and all the things that went with it. And I know we kind of defeated the purpose a little bit because of the lighting. So I did keep the lighting, but I planted two pothos, a smaller um, spider plant, uh, did some rocks, some wood. Um, I'll explain what this line is soon. We have some thyme <laughs> and some more thyme in there. Um, I'm gonna be putting some parsley in here and some other herbs. Um, I got a jade plant in here there's a, some people, I like to call it a tree star, but there's a money plant back there. I don't know if any of y'all remember Land Before Time <laughs> with Littlefoot and the tree star. So that was pretty cute. <laughs> um, the heating rock I'm probably gonna remove. There's a weird alien that Bigfoot thought it would be funny to put on my planter. Um, he got me that during Christmas time. And there's these like little, uh, you know, little glowing guys. So when you turn off the light, these little guys like glow. It's, it's silly, it's fun, it's fun. 
Anyways, so we got some other tropical plants and this vine. And again, what is this? Well, this is a system that um, sprays out water for misting. Because, <laughs> no, let me see if I can see him. Yes, that's a UVB and a heating lamp. But back in there, there is the bearded dragon. And I don't think you can see him, so let me turn this around. The tank glass over here, because I've been playing around in there, um, is kind of cloudy, but Meet Blue. She is just months old. Um, she is a special bearded dragon. Um, she's not like your normal kind, but she's not like really, really, really expensive kind. But we got her before the well crapped the bed. So, um, surprise, <laughs> be careful what you do because there's always something else to follow later on. But anyways, I planted this all up and Bigfoot was like, well, why don't we get some of those frogs or, you know, a lizard or something? And we kind of left it up to Allie to choose and this is what she chose. We went in to do a leopard gecko. I know about leopard geckos. I know about iguanas. So I was a little bit of a brat the day that she went to the store and decided on the beater dragon because I know how much upkeep and how, how they are. But I didn't know everything. I just knew it was just a dip, bit different than just, to me, iguanas are simple, geckos are simple. Uh, bearded dragons are a little bit more complex, especially when it comes to heat and humidity and feeding so I gave her some pumpkin because uh fun facts she ate the first two days and because of certain things um yeah she hasn't eaten in four days yep but she's active and she's going potty I did handle her to give her a warm bath to make sure she wasn't compacted she did poop after I rubbed her abdomen and put her in a warm bath um, so she is doing well. So we're thinking she just ate too many crickets and mealworms. And we're hoping that she eats soon. Because if not, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. Whether we're going to go to the vet or, you know, something. Pet store. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I know a whole lot of you are going to be giving me all kinds of things to do. Do this, do that. We have probably done it, um, so please try not to overload because <laughs> I'm already pretty overwhelmed and stressed out about this. Um, I have researched and read um, so much that we literally have done it all and we have more lights coming. So it is morning and it's low in the morning, but our low in the morning is 80 and... The humidity was at 40 and is going back down to 30, but between 30 and 60 is her humidity of what she should be at. And this temperature over here is over there. So we have a one of those um, temperature guns. So this is the temperature gun that we have. And what you do is you turn it on. Well, you try to turn it on and you aim it. And you can't really do it through the glass, so you got to do it on top. Let's see if I can get this to, I'm up here over the tank. So I'm having a heck of a time here. I got short people problems. So it's 108 at the light, and that's on the outside, not underneath. That's actually a bit a ways. And that's the actual light. So on her rock is only between 90, let's see, 94, 97, 96. So yeah, she's got, she's got the heat. We did order a new UVB because we did find out the corkscrew twisty type UVBs are crap and they don't even put out 1% of the UV. So we did order one that is between 12 and 14% UVB. 
Um, so hopefully that'll be better for her. And I'm not sure when that's going to come in. Um, but I would not suggest this light um, for heat to do a heat lamp. Um, it's okay for 75 to 100 watt. But I would honestly go with a better UVB light that we have coming. Oh yeah, the UVB light that we have coming is an Arcadia and it's a T5. You'll see some T8s sold in um, your stores. The bulb is, is not good. The fixture is fine. If you wanna grab a fixture, that's fine. But T5 bulbs are best. T5s are what I've always used in most of my tanks with fish and most of my tanks with salt water. Um, except for the light I just showed you guys that we're now growing under because we no longer, we have a saltwater tank set up, but there's just water and live rock. There's in sand. There's nothing else in there other than copepods, zoanthias pods, and whatever else that is unseen to the naked eye just for watching it. So yeah, six feet of plantage with a baby bearded dragon. I know. What's a prepper? What are preppers doing with a bearded dragon? Well, the thing is, is you gotta enjoy life. And taking on something like this is a huge responsibility for Allie. <laughs> Although I find myself stressing about it when things don't go right. So that's that. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, I'm having a hard time lately between everything that's going on and then there's the upstairs up in the head um, of trying to do things with videos and whatnot. Um, I'm trying to be here more and be better. Um, there's just a lot of things going on that y'all don't know about. And um, yeah, I, I haven't even been painting. I mean, I started a painting the other day and I got a sky halfway done and I stopped to go do other things because spring is coming and there's just a lot to be done, a lot, of, lot to be done. I hope you guys are all getting ready for spring gardening as well. And we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to the 2004 um, Survival Seed Challenge 2024 with everyone and um, yeah, but right now I'm just kind of tired and I'm using all of my energy just to get things done around this house and outside of this house for my family and I. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, for all of y'all asking about TJ, I do give her, um, the messages. I take screenshots and things like that and I, I show her. But she's working. She's working and and I think she's going to be getting a promotion and stuff. So it's super exciting. Um, she loves her position where she's now at doing the security thing. Um, she has a lot of responsibility and she's really, really happy. She's happy. So um, I did talk to her about having her up on this channel and she said that that would be awesome so we're gonna find a day or a night to do that um so we're gonna be working around her schedule to do that and i hope to see you all there um but yeah tj's doing great and um we appreciate all of y'all who still support her and you never know you never know when she'll be back <laughs> all right well Enough of that. Um, Y'all have a great day and uh, God bless.